Are you considering Belize as a place to invest or move? I offer tours where I show people Placencia, San Pedro, and Hopkins to see which place may be right for them. This particular tour started at Mahogany Bay Resort, which is a fantastic place for great food, private beach club, as well as a fantastic pool. And after that, we headed over to Placencia and Hopkins, and we partnered up with Coastal Living, and a couple of the people on that San Pedro tour ended up extending their stay to join us in Placencia. And if you haven't already seen, I did a video with Tracy that was part of the tour. Now, let's hear from Hart and what he thought about the tour and Belize. So Hart, can you talk about what you think the advantages from your perspective are of San Pedro? San Pedro. Well, let me start by saying we're here today in Placencia at the Jaguar Lanes having pizza. <laughs> so but getting, getting back to San Pedro, it, it was a, a, a wonderful experience. We, we went in with no expectations because we never been there before. We just didn't know what to to, uh, to expect uh, and it it was it was wonderful. It was uh, we, we obviously stayed at the, um, uh, the Mahogany Bay Resort which was fantastic. That was our, our first experience there and you know the the lifestyle on the island, or even going into town, um, it's it's a bigger place. Well, when I say bigger, I mean it, it's busier. It is written by busy. I mean, we nearly got run over by golf carts. Uh, yeah, it's um, it takes a little get, getting used to if you've never experienced that before, and. Um, uh, it, it was still a, a, a really positive experience. Um, the, uh, the restaurants there, the, uh, the snorkeling, the beaches were wonderful, and uh, the whole the whole experience was, was was quite positive. So now that we're in Placencia and you're staying on the peninsula at Umaya, talk about what you think the experience is like here in Placencia in comparison to your time in San Pedro. Yes, well, the Umaya is also a, a wonderful resort. Uh, we really enjoyed this. And um, it is, as I mentioned, it's a lot quieter city, I, I would say, uh, uh, out here in Placencia. I mean, the, you know, being in, in within the resort is one thing. But of course, we're here to go out and, and explore uh, the area to explore the people and the whole community. And that is where there's a different vibe here in comparison to say, uh, I feel. And uh, it, is, it is a, uh, a smaller, more intimate community. And uh, we went into, into town here in, into Placencia, did not get, get run over by any. Uh, uh, golf carts, not even close. It's so calm and relaxed, and uh, uh, they have this really cute sidewalk that you can just meander through there, and all the stores and cafes and bars uh, right off the sidewalk without the, uh, the issues of, of parking and uh, masses of people, uh, like in, in uh, San Pedro. So I know for the last part of the trip here, you were a little apprehensive of driving alone in Belize, but today you spent on your own exploring. Talk about how you found that and what you did today. Oh, yes. Well, apprehensive is a bit of an understatement. I, I really did not want to, not having been here before, um, it, was, it was a very big deal to... Uh, uh, to get out and, and to, well, we rented a car and you know what, it was no problem. All of the signs are, um, uh, all, all the destinations have, have signs and it's so, it's so easy to get around. There is no apprehension anymore. Um, it was just so easy to, to get around and uh, I, you know what, I would actually highly recommend uh, you know, 
for those people considering traveling only by bus tours, just rent your own car and fine. It's so simple. It's so simple and easy and safe. Uh, the safety issue is uh, what a lot of people consider, and, and uh, it's not even a concern. Everybody is so helpful, all the locals uh, or even the tourists. And uh, today we went um, from Placencia on our own um, uh, to, to go visit the, uh, the Mayan ruins. And uh, we found our, our way there without issues. Everything was, was labeled. And uh, even when we arrived, everyone was... was uh, so helpful to say, you know, oh, oh, this, this, and this is located here. Oh, did you see that? And you know, oh, you should go here. And this is only ten minutes out of out of your way. And it was such a wonderful experience that even after the um, uh, the Mayan ruins, which by the way, it's a must see. If you haven't done it, you got to do that. It's fantastic. After that, we drove not even 10 minutes uh, south and uh, went, went on a, um, a chocolate making tour on a cacao farm uh, run by a, a Mayan family and it was absolutely amazing to get the, the walking tour through the, well I was going to say vineyards but it's the, the uh, cacao trees, the orchards that they have I'm not sure, but it was just amazing going into the mountains, uh, uh, see, seeing the, um, you know, how it's done, the whole process. Uh, it was quite an experience. It was another first for us. Okay, so as a first time visitor to Belize, uh, you know, if there was somebody thinking of moving here or even coming as a snowbird, what would you recommend them doing before they make their decision? Oh, well, for the, if you've not been here before, um, I, I would highly recommend not just focusing on, on San Pedro. And if I would have any advice for someone who's not been here before is don't make that your final and only destination. You've got to see the rest of, of the country and, uh, Get off the island as well. The island is great, of course. Um, all the touristy things uh, are there to, to see and do. But to really experience things, you have to get to the mainland. And uh, as, as you know, I'm, I'm here in Placencia. And we've, we've been to, uh, we've, we've come down here. We've uh, driven up to see Hopkins. Uh, today we we went down to uh, near near Punta Gorda, and just to experience a a, a bit more than just the Big Island would be my advice. Along with group tours, I do individualized tours for people looking for property in Belize or deciding if it's right for them. So reach out to me so I can help you plan your best trip, including our upcoming group trip that we have in July coinciding with Lobster Fest. I hope to see you soon in Belize.